there's a big psychological you know gap to overcome there's what a lot of people call a psychology of fear on the part of most of the negroes they're they're afraid of losing their jobs uh, they've been brainwashed they think that somehow all of this is the business of the white man and it's some, not something that they're supposed to be doing a lot of times i think here in mississippi more than anything else one of the techniques that has been used and very successful is they make an example of a person who tries to lead out in belzoni for instance uh, where a man was killed in 56 well and then the year after another man was shot well you don't have anybody registered in belzoni and it's going to be very difficult to get somebody there now in the rural area surrounding macomb we found a pattern where you ran into not only economic pressures but physical violence um, several of us were actually beaten and i was arrested also in connection with taking people to the registrar's office we were beaten by civilians i had about eight stitches um, in several places in the head there are some areas where people can be registered um, they can register here in Hines County I don't know whether they can register with the ease that a white man can be registered and there are a couple of other places around the state where they can be registered so there is hope and of course the the difference in the vote between the winning and losing candidate in Mississippi is very often a slim difference so there's possibility of registering enough people to make a difference to count but if you're really going to help the people all over the state and really make a change in the system down here then there's going to have to be some additional help from the federal government uh, um, they're going to have to weigh a little more heavily on the scales I, I don't see any other way out